Hey guys, my name is Darren Stott, lead pastor at Seattle Revival Center. And I got some questions for you. Have you ever felt like you have a lot of knowledge but no actual platform to apply that knowledge? Like, do you ever feel like you just want to stop hearing about this stuff and actually start doing this stuff? If that's you, I want you to keep watching this video because we have some exciting information that you're going to want to hear. One of the conversations that's very, very common within the church world, uh, many pastors and leaders are continually having this conversation is, is how do you do equipping within the local church? And not only provide the information and the impartation, but how do you actually provide the opportunity, the empowerment? How do you actually release authority so that people can begin doing this stuff? And, and how do you do that when really all you have is a Sunday morning service and maybe some sort of small group type structure within a church? Uh, small groups are incredible. You know, in small groups, you can practice the prophetic and you can go real, real deep in relationship. But there's a lot of people that, that kind of want to go even beyond that and, and want to begin practicing supernatural ministry, not just within a safe atmosphere of friends and family, but they actually want to begin going out and doing stuff with, uh, with unbelievers, going and doing stuff out in the streets, going and doing stuff in the marketplace and in businesses and that kind of thing. And so this is a huge conversation. How do you do uh, intense, I mean intense equipping, the kind of equipping you just couldn't really do on a Sunday morning? Okay, so how do you do that? And then how do you truly empower, meaning that that, um, you're releasing authority and giving people the opportunity. How, how do you do that? And we began having that conversation and one of the things, uh, uh, one of the conclusions is, that we came to is essentially you can only do that within a school environment. And that is why we created Seattle Revival Center School of Supernatural Ministry. So let me tell you a little bit about this school structure. Every year we go on an annual mission trip, uh, an opportunity to go to a nation and actually serve um, for a week in a, in a different environment. We go out once a week doing prophetic evangelism. Um, we have an absolutely transformational, loving family atmosphere. Um, we have every week we have well-known um, international five-fold ministers coming into our school, um, and we also have group mentoring. So when you hit those points where you have extra questions, um, you can engage with somebody who's been there and can really just come alongside of you. I really love the stuff we cover in first year, and I want to tell you a little bit about those things that we cover. We cover the Father's heart. We cover who you are in Christ, how to operate as a son. Um, we deal with emotional, physical, spiritual healing. Um, we deal with the different levels of the prophetic, um, how to operate as a seer, how to see in the spirit, getting you activated in those things. Um, signs, wonders, and miracles, how to actually pray for someone um, to be healed, how to do evangelism and be successful, um, and many other topics. I want you to imagine that you go into a church, you've never been to that church before, uh, you walk in and you begin discerning uh, the things that are taking place within that environment. And not only do you discern the things that are taking place within that environment, but you have the skills necessary to displace those demonic atmospheres. And then all of a sudden, a microphone is given to you and you begin making declarations. You begin using your voice and your breath to begin creating a contrast reality. Can you, can you see yourself actually doing that? Okay, I want you to imagine that you're in a food court and you are creating a piece of art and you've never seen yourself as an artist. It's like a stick person that you're drawing on a piece of paper and when you look up from the paper, you see somebody who's crying because literally through your stick, man, uh, the contents and desires within their heart are actually being revealed and you know because you've been trained how to then take them through a prayer where they are actually inviting Jesus. Jesus Christ to be the Lord of their life. And lastly, I want you to imagine yourself in a school-like environment where you're surrounded by people uh, that uh, look different than, than you, they talk different than you, they are different, they're in a different age bracket than you, they've had different life experiences than you, in a, in a radically diverse educational environment, and yet you feel like you're with family, you feel like you can be truly you and not be judged. All right. 
If you can imagine those possibilities, those possibilities, that, that can be your reality if you're willing to take action and if you're willing to say, yes, I know that there's a great price, there's a great cost, it's going to cost me my time and it's going to cost some money, but yes, that kind of reality, it sounds like it would be worth it and I'm willing to engage with, with the cost and with the time in order to break into a whole new place where, uh, where, a, where ministry is actually a part of my identity. I grew up in Kenya, in Africa, in a ministry family that was very uh, works or strife based and I just grew up knowing there was wrong and there was right. I did not know anything to do with grace and love. And so over time it wears you out until I moved to Seattle, came to Seattle Revival Center and I just learned about love and the covenant of love and being in the school of supernatural built and is still building my identity of who I am in Christ and what I am and um, that there's more, there's grace. So I signed up um, for the school having no idea what to expect. Um, I remember Darren and Matt talking about like fire tunnels and peace portals in the, in the interview and I, um, I had no like framework for what was about to happen. Um, and so really the growth that I've seen is just um, God really confirming like what he had already put in me and just drawing those things out. Um, and being together with a group of people who are like pursuing God's heart together um, and seeing that um, like he has given so many gifts to the church um, a lot of the things that we're actually already operating in and being able to practice those things having um, the encouragement and leaders who've gone before us who've kind of paved the way has just been like um, an absolutely amazing experience just priceless so Matt and I, we've laid it all out. We've told you why we created the school. Uh, we told you what the school is all about. You've heard from some students. And now this is that time of the video when you really need to take action. And here's what I mean by take action. Um, even if you wanted to do the school today, you can't. You actually have to be accepted into the school. The students that we have in the school make the school. They're the ones that create the culture within the school. And so even if you're like, I got the time, I got the money, I got the passion, that's great. Um, but, but what you actually need to do is schedule an interview with us. We can do that one of two ways. If you're in the Northwest area, you can actually schedule an interview to come and meet with us on site here at Seattle Revival Center. But if you live outside of the greater Pacific Northwest region, you can actually schedule a Skype interview with Matt and myself. That's right, Matt and I actually personally interview every student because that's how much this school matters to us and making sure that we have the right candidates in the school. And so if you think that you have what it takes and that you feel like this is really a part of your scroll and your destiny, what the Lord has ordered for your life, then you, you need to actually take action right now by sending an email to our school administrator, Jeanette at SeattleRevivalCenter.com. It's right at the bottom of the screen there and we are expecting this year's first year to fill up fairly quick. So if this sounds like something that, that the Lord is calling you to, I need you to not delay but to get on your email today, right? And shoot off an email to Jeanette at Seattle RevivalCenter.com. We're waiting to hear from you. We're waiting to see you either on a screen or in person. We're, we're looking forward at hearing the dreams and desires that God has placed within your heart. And we're looking forward and partnering with you to see you come into a new place that you've never been before. Love you guys. Look forward to hearing from you. God bless.